Hi guys, welcome to Tech Ideas channel. Here they are 5 tips and tricks of Hit Film Express. I wish that I knew before, so stay tuned. So the first thing that I will show you guys is how to make a composite chart longer after you made it in HitFilm Express. Let's say we have this composite chart with the image right here and we try to make an animation or something, scale it like this. And after a while we find out this composite chart is a little bit short in time. All we have to do is to come to the settings icon right here, click on it and from here as you can see it's 20 seconds. All we have to do is to make it like 50 seconds or so and click on OK. So now when we came to the editor panel guys, we can expand this from here as you can see like this and make it 50 seconds. But there is a thing guys, after we play this after 20 seconds it's all black as you can see. This is an easy fix guys, all we have to do is to come back to the composite chart and move this dark side right here, expand the picture and if we come back to the editor panel now, it's all done as you can see, there is no black space. So I find this is very useful, it will save you a lot of time when you try to edit your videos. So let's go to the next thing. So this one made me crazy when I start using HitFilm Express, it's when we try to animate this PNG as you can see right here. In the video or any picture we want, we make it a composite shot like this. And specifically in the position right here, when we try to make this PNG cross the whole screen from the bottom all the way up, like this, make a keyframe in the beginning and right here. So we want this PNG to cross the screen like this. Sorry about that, it's so damn long. Let's move this keyframe right here or so. And the animation is supposed to be like this. So when we came to the editor panel guys, it doesn't do that. As you will see right here. So the thing about that when you select it, there is a square in the middle right here of this PNG. As you can see it will appear only in this square. To fix that, it's easy, we're gonna make this square fit the screen, as you can see right here. But the PNG became so much bigger. So this is an easy fix also, all we have to do is to come back to the composite chart and we're gonna scale this, the size that we want. Like this, so now we came to the editor panel again, and now it will cross the whole screen with the size that we want. So this is for me is a game changing, so I want to include it in this tutorial. So let's go to the next thing. So now what I gonna show you guys, it's about a very cool effect when you using like two pictures and one PNG like this, one smaller and one bigger. And we're gonna include a PNG like a vase or something like this. We're gonna scale this like that. So we're gonna adjust that and put it in the table right here and also in second picture right here. So now when we play this, as you can see the PNG plays in the both pictures because one is smaller. So now I'm gonna show you a very cool effect requires something like that. So we came to the effects panel right here and now we're gonna search for linear wipe and we're gonna apply this to the short image like here and we're gonna move it like that. So now when we play our video it happens to be like this. It will change from the picture 1 to the picture 2 in this cool manner as you can see right here. So now let's go to the next thing. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to create a very cool animation using the free mask tool. And many hit film users think this is very complicated. But it's not, actually it's very simple to use. All you have to do is to select the image right here and select also the free mask tool as you can see. And we're gonna make some points like this. Surround all the image like this as you can see. It's very simple and easy.
And now what we're gonna do, we came to the mask right here and expand it. And in the transform panel right here, we're gonna make a keyframe in the path right here as you can see. And we're gonna change those two points in the middle. And also change those two up and down. The opposite thing. So now as you can see, we created this cool shape star. And now what we're gonna do is to move 10 frames forward. And we're gonna make those two points back as they were before. Like this. And we're gonna move 10 frames again. And we're gonna do the same with those two points. Like this. And now we created this cool animation under one minute. Or half a minute as you can see. It's a very simple to use. So I thought I will include this in this tutorial and I will leave the rest to your imagination to do awesome things. So let's go to the next thing. So now guys I'm gonna show you two useful things about exporting your project in HitFilm Express. I know that most of you know this but this is especially for beginners. The first thing that I will show you is that you can export only a part of your project, a specific part of your project. Let's say this video. And this is from the last tutorial about how to make four split video inside one as you can see you can check it out i'll leave it in the description below so what we're gonna do is to come to the beginning right here and there is dark line right here we're gonna drag this like that and make an in point as you can see right here and we're gonna drag this also from the right side and we selected only this area that you're seeing and when we came to the export panel right here there is two options as you can see in and out area and if we choose this it will export only the area that we chosen so now we come to the second thing when we try to export our project always came in the horrible name editor 5 or 10 or something so we click add this and we're gonna change the name to any name we want So that we can directly upload it to YouTube under the name that we want. And that make a major difference when you upload it on YouTube, trust me. So that's all for me guys. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And also subscribe for more tips and tricks like this. And if there is anything you want me to do a tutorial about, all you have to do is to write me in the comment section below. So I guess I will see you in the next tutorial. See ya.